Hi, this is going to be a rant video. There's been several things that have been bothering me for the last couple of days, if not more than that, and I would like to talk about them. I will speak about some of these issues in other videos, but the, the first one I would like to address today in this video has to do with uh, being an independent author more specifically being an independent writer not a car salesman not a history teacher not a painter necessarily not a business person not a lawyer it's about being an independent author an independent writer and yeah, the reason why I've titled this uh, video, I apologize for nothing. It's actually a line from one of my favorite books, uh, from one of my favorite movies, uh, titled uh, The Vanishing of Sydney Hall. And the movie is about a, a writer. So why do I apologize for nothing? Don't get me wrong. <laughs> if I do things, if I insult people, unwillingly maybe I made a mistake or something I acknowledge that and I try to apologize I try not to do those things first of all but sometimes it does happen I make mistakes I'm not saying that I insult people I'm just saying I make certain mistakes I'm I wish I didn't do I wish I was um, more calculated not responding in the heat of the moment as much and yeah, that. I apologize for people, at least I try to apologize if I haven't met them and I feel like I've um, in some way maybe brought some negativity to their life, I have tried to apologize. But why I do not apologize, I don't want to apologize, why I apologize for nothing, uh, this has to do with the stuff I'm doing in my videos. It has come to my attention especially more recently, that um, some people are bothered <laughs> by the fact that I show my books, uh, that I speak about my published books in my videos. Um, and I would like to talk to you about why I am not apologizing for doing that, why I'm not ashamed to do that, and why I'm not embarrassed, and why I will keep doing that. <laughs> So I don't want you to feel like I'm having a go at you or anything at all, or, but I would just like to bring some awareness why I'm doing some of the things I'm doing and maybe it will enlighten some of you in uh, concerning some things that maybe you haven't thought about uh, because you know there's so many things we think on a daily basis about that some of them just go over our head and we just don't consider them as much. Uh, I'm guilty of that as much as other people are of other things. So I try to correct that as best as I can and to improve my own thinking and my own life <laughs> and the life of others as much as I can, obviously, as much as it's in my power to do that. And I think many people watching this video agree that a person needs food both for the, uh, both for the body and both for the mind. So what I do with my books, I, uh, I like to think and believe that I bring food for the mind. I may not be bringing to you vegetables, for example, or meat, you know, um, to actually feed your body, but I like to think that through my stories, I'm feeding you something, I'm making you think about certain issues that have must be addressed because maybe they're not addressed enough and I feel like those issues the, those stories uh, through which I'm raising certain issues I am um, those stories I hope to be beneficial to people and th the reason why I insisted on doing <laughs> a video like this is because I've been meaning to do this for a while to talk about how it, what it is, how it, what it means to be an independent author, because many 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 people, I think, are still under the impression that this is just a, a hobby, 
when you're an independent writer or it's just like, you know, oh, you do something because it's your passion and you just do it. Like, kind of like maybe I consider it like going to fishing, uh, going fishing or uh, painting or running, you know, something you like to do to improve your life and make yourself feel better. And while that is the case, writing is my passion, makes me feel good and used to be a hobby. In the last few years, I've been taking this more seriously because I, I know what impact it can have on someone's life. And yeah, I try to take it more seriously as a profession, not just as something to do when I have some spare time. So I was watching a video a few days ago, I think. And it's actually a video of someone I care about. It's uh, someone on Booktube who posts videos about books and things like that. And if the person will be watching this, I don't want uh, her to feel hurt by these words or like I'm attacking her in any way. This is not, I'm, I just feel like certain reactions people have to certain things uh, I think they're not aware how much they can affect other people like me, for example. And I would just like to bring that to you. <laughs> Hopefully you'll understand. And so, as I was saying, I was watching this video and uh, it's about someone, yeah, as I said, on Booktube and she was mentioning, um, I mean, um, she was talking about books and stuff like that. And the person is also writing a book. And I always get excited when I hear someone's writing a book, being fiction, non-fiction, whatever it is. Books have saved my life, and I'm not saying this lightly. They have literally saved my life several times. Not necessarily a physical book, but like the content of those books have saved my life on several occasions. And while I was watching this, I was like really excited, and I, I asked the person in the live feed, because it was a live video, how is the writing going? And for some reason, that person felt the need to say, oh, my, my channel is not going to be about uh, marketing my book, and promoting my book. It's just, you know, I'm talking about books. Uh, and it's true, the channel, her, this person's channel is primarily about books, unlike mine, on which I promote other books as well. But I um, also talk about the process of writing and publishing books and some cooking videos <laughs> randomly. So, but the thing is, it, it's, I still remember and I had such, I had a reaction, I, I felt kind of insulted because obviously when someone says that, at least that's how I felt, when you say, oh, my, my channel is not about promoting videos, I was not asking about that, I was simply asking if, uh, how's the writing going, because I know it can be difficult sometimes to put words on the page or to simply just, I don't know, to, to just get your ideas there and do the writing, uh, like the writing, the amount of words you need, for example, or the amount of words you've set for yourself. So I was just curious, you know, I was just really excited to hear how, how the project is, uh, project is going, because I'm excited, I think it's a really good idea, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to read the finish, finished book. Uh, I think it's a pretty unique idea. And I felt uh, insulted because she didn't, she eventually re answered my question. Uh, she said how, how the writing was going, the project. But just that initial reaction that someone said, oh, my channel is not going to be about marketing my book. As if marketing your own <laughs> book is something bad. And as I said, I don't want the person to feel attacked. That is not my intention. I just want to bring awareness to how that made me personally feel and yeah just why i feel like i why i interpreted that reaction this certain way and i like promoting your books would be a bad thing uh, would be a bad thing because she said um i'm writing because i'm passionate and i'm not writing to make a living which is perfectly fine by me if you want to write just for the sake of writing that's Perfect. That's, I think, writing is therapy. I've, I've found it not necessarily relaxing, but cathartic in many ways when I do it myself. 
so I highly recommend it. That's why I'm <laughs> excited when I hear someone writes a book or is trying to write a book. But what I, I want to me make you aware um, of a certain thing here that doesn't have to do necessarily with the fact of being an independent author and trying to make a living like I am trying to by selling my books. Because I think many writers and authors have this issue like, oh, I'm dirtying my creativity or my uh, work of art by selling it. Nothing could be further from the truth, honestly, like seriously. This is my opinion, obviously. You don't have to agree with it. Uh, but it is my channel and I'm trying to share my opinions and how I feel about it. So why I feel like when someone makes a claim like this, that, oh, I'm just writing because I'm passionate about, I get it on a certain level, but then I, what I don't get is that people get offended, or not necessarily, as I said, not necessarily offended, because this is an ex maybe exaggerated, it's not for everyone. I'm not saying this about this particular person. I'm talking about in general, the idea that marketing your book or uh, something you create is wrong, you know? So as I was saying, promoting your work is not wrong. And let me tell you why, because I feel like this is getting into a really long rant. Let's consider this possibility, which is very likely to happen. Say you've worked, I'm not going to say a year, I'm going to say six months, three months, although most people who write a book take more than that to, to write their first book. It took me probably about a year and a half to write my first, my debut novel, and I, I still agree it's, it's flawed and has all sorts of issues, but it also has lots of things I'm proud about. But that's another thing. So it takes you several weeks, months to write this piece, write something about, uh, to write something you're passionate about. To, and those ideas you put down on the page, ideally you would want to share them with others because you'd think they're beneficial to other people, right? That's what I think. When I write something, I write for myself, and I often think about other people, not about the, enti uh, the entire world. I maybe think about this particular friend I have, that, uh, that story might help, or it might touch in a certain way. And yeah, I, don't, I try to, like, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Mark Twain or Kurt Vonnegut who said that, when you write, open a window, don't open the whole, like the doors and the windows and everything to let air in. Just open a window and share your ideas um, or think about one person when you're writing something because if you're trying to please everyone, it's not going to work. Okay, I'm getting into another topic. So when you're, you spent all those months or to all those hours, even 10 hours you s if you spent on something, that you think might help other people because simply because it helped you to, to do it, um, you think you'd want to share that with more people, right? But guess what? If you don't mention that project, I feel like <laughs> my voice is getting very like angry and I, that's not my intention. I'm really trying to um, compose myself, but this is a subject I'm really passionate about. And it's just really upsetting that some people view, still view it this way. Like if you had a business or if your friend opened a bike business or a coffee shop business, um, a, clothing, a clothing company, uh, and they promoted their work and they did ads or they uh, spoke about it in their videos and they asked you politely, obviously, to like promote, the, uh, maybe share their video or leave reviews. I think you'd do that, right? If you want to... Uh, you want to try their coffee, you, if someone <laughs> creates something like that, you would support them. So I don't see why this um, misconception about uh, why it would be wrong in some way that you're promoting books, because simply because they're stories and maybe they're, they're made of 
thin air basically that just come from our minds um, and I'm not saying again because I was talking about this other person I was watching her video I'm not saying she's not because she's very supportive of independent authors but just that remark and it was the second time I think she made it it just caught my attention because I was like simply because I wasn't saying that I'll promote your book talk about it just I was curious about the process um, yeah it just it just had a, a little bit of a negative impact on me and kind of upset me you know but it's in no way I'm not having a good person because I know what a lovely human being she is and how supportive she's been in the community and all that I'm just trying to bring it to people with more people's attention that stuff they say like that uh, might be affecting certain people and and it's not even they don't even realize I think because they don't consider this possibility that just because when you write something you say oh I write it for passion I don't think honestly this is my opinion when you write something I don't think your um, your way of dealing with it is just to write it you, it's a finished piece I'm not saying you've wrote, uh, written a draft and you leave it there in the in the drawer for several months and then you go back to it to check for errors and things you might add or might cut down I'm just talking about finished book you're quite proud of it and you as I said you feel it might have a positive Im impact on someone else who might read it so this is what I'm trying to, to say like if how how is uh, how are other people going to find out about your work about that great piece of uh, writing you've done if you don't speak about it you may not want to sell a single book and um, you may want to even donate to charity which is great cause I love that I absolutely support that but by being embarrassed and I am for I am guilty of that as well I used to do that in my videos and be embarrassed that oh I'm showing my book like oh, I'm so I, I, like I'm some genius or whatever you know I felt really bad because I just wrote a book it's not like I, ha I did an open heart surgery and saved someone's life like seriously you know but my point is some stories can have that impact on someone they, they might save someone's life they might it's it's again with this conception of um, this thing that has to do with mental illness for example uh, many people in our society they still have this conception that if you have two people and one of them is ill of a physical illness say they're blind or they have some sort of uh, maybe they have, they've lost a leg or something like that if you compare a person who's blind can't see with someone who has a mental illness people will always say that uh, not always but many people will still say oh that person she's not ill she looks fine you know but just because an illness doesn't show that doesn't mean that person isn't ill and actually it means personally that's what I believe when someone suffers of a mental illness like anxiety or, or even more than that not just anxiety or depression um, and depression it can be more damaging not just for that person it can be damaging for other people because being in a state like that can cause all sorts of chain reactions and that have a bad bad impact on others not just on that particular individual so while someone who's blind while that il their illness might not cause as many issues for other people when a, a person suffers of mental illness it affects their families their friends many people are affected so I don't understand why this conception that oh you're doing something that's not as visible uh, or you're suffering of something that's not as visible as a physical thing and it's just conceived as something like how oh, silly or you're just being ridiculous just uh, get get over it and things like that that can be very hurtful if you say to someone so you know just a little bit of comparison and the thing with books yeah <laughs> fair enough you know when people <laughs> they say even to their family members they say oh I want to make a living writing books 
they say, okay, go and get a proper job and then do writing, which is, which, which is reasonable because writing is a very difficult thing to do, uh, to make a living. You can not, it's not just hard to do. For me, I don't think writing is hard. I hate the, the notion of writer's block. I think that's silly. I understand it. I understand where some writers come from. Like you may have a block or you may have, you may be feeling awful a certain day and you just don't want to, you don't feel like writing or you, don't, you have too many ideas and you don't know which one to focus on, you know, that thing. But like uh, writer's block when you don't know, you can't write, the, the, the whole idea is like, oh, I'm not, I don't know what to write. I, don't know. It's, I find it mind boggling because it's just, you, you can, you just have to focus a bit and take it bit by bit and sort it out. <coughs> Right, so where was I? <laughs> um, being an independent author means having your own business which doesn't sell clothes or coffee or broccoli or potatoes or milk or bread uh, or a pair of shoes or a car or tires or a uh, refrigerator um, something physical. It's a business that sells story basically, brings to you stories and I am sorry that some people feel like stories are not as important but just as not, are not as important as actual like physical food but try and imagine a world without all these movies you've seen before in your life, all the theater plays, all the music, for example, because that requires writing, um, all, all these things that are creative that help the mind and the body to feel better because when the, lo when the mind is not feeling better, the body suffers. That's why I was talking about earlier, mental illness is more damaging in many ways than a physical illness, although again, they're on, uh, I would say they're on the same level, level because if you suffer from something like blindness, this physical issue will affect your mental illness and it's the other way around. When you suffer from a mental illness, it's not a stomach pain, it's not uh, that can be cu cured with a, you know, it's not period pain, um, although that sucks as well, but that may be cured easier. It's not. Um, yeah, toothache, uh, again, that can be fixed um, easier. It's a much more serious issue that can have a very um, significant change on someone's life or a significant impact on someone's life. I feel like I've been ranting a lot and I've been quite aggressive, I think, in my voice. That's a problem I have, although I tried to be kind. Um, I think my voice has this annoying thing where people, when they hear it, they feel like they're attacked. Um, I don't mean to be like that, but it's just the way I am. I try as best as I can to control this but and to improve it, but it happens, especially if, I, if I'm annoyed. Um, it's hard, hard to keep it down. <laughs> Although some people feel like writing is a passion and might be similar to going fishing. For some people like me, it's more than that. And I would like people in the community to be more aware of this and to, yeah, to just open this discussion. I would love to hear from other people. I will continue to <laughs> promote my books in my videos. For example, this is my newest one. I will continue to promote my books and the books of other, uh, this is something I've decided to take a more active um, stand on, let's say. Um, I've decided to support more independent authors because I think, yeah, we don't get enough visibility in the media. But again, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to look for writers that are good. I'm not just going to like support every single person just because they're independent. Don't get me wrong. That's not the point of this. I will be supporting people whose work I think it's worthy. Um, 
And even if it's not like top notch, I will still support it if I feel like it has brought something positive to my life. Um, I've recently read uh, a book um, and I it had several errors which really pissed me off. Uh, I normally can, pa uh, can get over certain errors, if it's punctuation errors, if it's just a few, I'm like, oh, you know, it happens. But it had a significant amount of errors. However, I finished the book because the way the, the characters were uh, really kept me going. Uh, the, the way the, uh, the author made the characters. Um, and the book is, is Insomniac by Rick Rose, uh, who's from Manchester. <laughs> and this, the reason why I, wrote, I read his book is because I wanted to read something uh, local by a local author. So yeah, that was a side note. But yeah, as I was saying, I am looking forward to reading more books. I am a slow reader because I am also, I have periods when I read five books in, you know, a week or more, uh, more than five books. But because I'm also a writer and I try to, you know, bring books uh, to you, it takes me longer to read at times. So, and I am, as I said, mo a mood reader, I will read um, what I, I think it's a good writing style because I also want to improve my own. So I'm not just reading to support someone. I am egoistic, I admit. I read to improve myself. So that's that. But what I wanted to bring you to the point, like what can you do to support independent authors without spending money? Because I think that's the main issue. People feel like I'm mentioning, if I'm mentioning uh, in my videos, if I mention my book, they immediately think, oh, she wants us to buy the book, I feel bad, I'm, I can't buy it or review it, uh, I don't have money, you know, I'm in this position as well, I don't have that many money, uh, that much money, uh, I can't afford much, but, you know, there are methods, three methods you can use to support someone, if you want to support, again, you don't have to support someone, but I'm just saying for those of you who do want to support people like me, there's simple steps you can take that can have a tremendous impact on a, on someone's life, on a writer's life. And those are, for example, you could share their videos. Maybe they have a writer's page. Uh, they can, you can share their videos on Facebook. Um, you can you can like their videos or their posts, but I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that simply because. A like doesn't really show that much. It doesn't have such an effect. Uh, it doesn't help with visibility. If you share someone's post, if you share their book, for example, or if they post a book with a link, you can share it with your friends. Maybe you have friends who are interested in that, and maybe those friends can afford to buy the book, or maybe they might afford to buy it later. Um, so yeah, you can share their videos. You can talk about people with the wor uh, about their work. Um, you can obviously buy books, but that's not in the free category. So, yeah, th you can share the blog post. Um, it doesn't take long to do these things. It doesn't take a lot of time from, from your life. It, it takes literally seconds. It's the same way you're sharing cat videos, you, you can as well share a friend's posts about their book, you know. You don't have to do it, I'm just saying you could do it, so <laughs> um, that's my take on it. Um, obviously don't share stuff, don't feel obligated to share stuff uh, that's n not something you would like. Um, I wouldn't share something to my wall if I'm not passionate about Like I, I share a lot of gardening videos for example because I love that. And I think sometimes I even share that on my writer's page, which should be strictly about writing, about my books and stuff like that. But I do it because it just makes me happy, it brings positivity into my life, and I think we need more of that. This is why I've titled the video, I apologize for nothing. I apologize if I uh, made some people feel uncomfortable with this video, but I think it was necessary. Uh, because it will raise awareness to certain issues and yeah I am looking forward to find out what you think about my thoughts do you think I'm in the right with this video um, do you think I'm too like aggressive about it um, 
Yeah, I'd love to hear from people like Dane Cobain, who's another independent author, and he's a booktuber as well. He's very big. He does like massive <laughs> book wrap ups. Like he did like a 40 book wrap up a few days ago, and he, he posted it on his channel. Um, I don't know how he can read that much while doing all these other things like music and things. I would like to hear from JD Estrada, from Heather Grace Stewart, for example. There, there are many people in the community. Uh, Peter likes books, Peter Mon, uh, his channel, Peter likes books, because he's an independent author as well, but he's, he hasn't been promoting his book that much either. He's just talking about books and uh, other, he has several channels. Um, so yeah, I'm curious, what's your take on this? What, do you feel embarrassed to, you, to share your work? Should I feel embarrassed to share my work? I, honestly, I don't think you're gonna change my mind. This is how I feel. I feel like my work can bring positivity, can make someone better, or, yeah, I just, I honestly think it can improve someone's life, simply because it, it has mine. It has made me go over certain things that maybe I wouldn't even be here today if it wasn't for, for that, and s things that I struggle with, and I think if, um, I, f I feel about that, I feel good about that work, Espe especially about this recent book I wrote. I, it's a collection of short stories. It has 12 short stories, uh, and each one of them are illustrated. Um, each story is different in its own, and I think that's why I think people will, will like this a lot, um, because if you don't like one story or two stories, um, for example, I have stories about creatures and monsters in there. Maybe you don't like that kind of stuff, but I, I have things also about, um, yeah, ghosts as well, obviously. But there's also things that tackle suicide and depression. If you don't like that and you want to have more fun, obviously you're, you're going to like those stories about monsters, um, in particular pre-college. Um, I, I write about uh, stars, like movie stars in here, and uh, the story Stars and Snowflakes, which is one of my favorite in the collection, although they're all favorite, I can't really pick. <laughs> but yeah, they're all different, and that's, that's why I want to share it with as many, I want to make as many people aware of this book, because it, obviously I want to make a living, and the point of this, when I show it, is for people to get the book, to, so I can make money, and afford basic needs like paying my rent, buying food, but just because you buy the book and again this issue with like selling your worth, how much is your work worth it to pay for, like people have this issue they would buy a coffee from a certain vendor for five, you know, three pounds or whatever or but they, ha they complain about the book being, you know, five pounds or 2.99 or depends what format it is. So yeah, I'm not gonna feel sorry about this, but I would wanna hear about how, how other people are feeling about this, uh, this issue, because I, I think it's an important issue. And um, yeah, I, I want to hear more people talking about this. There was another um, very big booktuber, Ariel Bisset, who kind of upset me with one of her videos, earlier videos, probably like two years ago, you know, and the reason why I kind of stopped watching her channel, because while I found some of, some of her videos entertaining, when she said that an independent book is not good book, um, or she's just not going to check those books out. I can't remember. I think that's what she said. I don't want to have a go at her because many things might have changed in her life. And even if they haven't, that is her opinion and she's entitled to it as are many others. But I'm just saying why I got upset when I saw that. It just, just because someone says, oh, uh, it's an independent book, so you published it yourself, as if that makes it less of a book, less of a story than someone else's book. I know plenty of books which have been published by well-known authors, and I will not name names here, but there are 
some authors who are very powerful in the industry and they have been really good. They have released certain books which were really good, but lately they've kind of like producing these kind of books once a month, every once a few months. They're working with the ghost writers or whatever. Um, and those books sell like crazy because they've built a platform, which is again a great thing. They, they, they're entitled, they've built that brand. Uh, so of course people are familiar with their work. But it just bothers me that when you think, oh, that, I know that author, that uh, must be a great book because I've read that by them, it must be great, so I'm gonna buy it. But then when you hear an independent author has published a book, your instant, and many people instant, instantaneously think, oh, it must be bad because it's an in independent book. No, I think it should, you should think it's even better because it's made by an independent author who put a lot of heart and thought into it. Uh, again, as with everything, you're gonna find good and bad. So you don't expect, like all the independent books published are great. All the independent authors are great all the time. We, may, we all make mistakes. We all learn from our craft, from doing it. But this is why I, I, I want to do this as a living, is because I can bring stories to you and hopefully improve other people's lives by improving my own at the same time. And it's just, it just bothers me, you know, that people have this, cons this, this idea, again, coming back to promoting one's work, it's like, if you're an independent author and you promote your own work, um, if you're a writer specifically and you promote your books, people look at you like you're some sort of crazy creature, you know, alien or something. Um, and it's like, you wouldn't act like that if it was a, sales, you know, a person who sells cars, you know, just because that car takes you some places, physically takes you, that doesn't mean a story doesn't do that differently and it can be beneficial to you. So it just bothers me, this thing. It just really, really bothers me, as you can tell from this really long rant. It bothers me that even people in the community who of Booktube, you know, and even people in this community, some, some people react like this because, and even I, as I said in my earliest, earlier videos, I was, Oh, I'm embarrassed to show my video, and probably even now I'm like, oh, I have to raise my book and show it to you and go check it out and buy it or, you know, leave reviews because they help with visibility and stuff. It just, it bothers me that people are ashamed of that, as if they've hit someone in the head with something. It's like you're promoting your work. You're trying to do something that there's a... a you know, a small chance that it might affect someone positively and you've made it from thin air. So why be ashamed that you want to share that? Even if it's just for, not for financial gain, but for soulful gain. Like you've written a piece of, you've written a story, fictional, non-fictional, you know, it's a book uh, about your own life, it's non-fiction, it's a memoir, or whatever it is, it treats a certain subject and it, it makes people more aware of that subject and if you don't talk about it people are not gonna be aware of it they're not gonna it's all it's just it just bothers me like people are so afraid of by what others are saying about um, about them or how how they dress or how they uh, have makeup or how they uh, even talk you know um, I, it's just like people give so much attention to these things and it, it, it affects them to a certain degree that they might not notice but in time this thing builds up and that's why that's another reason why I'm, I want to talk about these issues it's because it just I can't I was so upset the other day well, about a certain issue that it's really really upsetting me uh, and this society is really pff, uh, I'm going to talk about it in a next video maybe um it's just it, it bothers me that if so if people but and i've tried to stay away from like posting things about um, about that subject simply because i find that a sh like shameful even talking about it. like why should i even talk about something like that it should be a given 
but um, so yeah, I decided to speak more about these issues because if I don't, if people like me don't speak about these issues, for ten people like me who don't speak about it, there's a hundred more, probably even more, who do speak about these issues, but they they spin it in a negative way and they they spread all this bullshit and all all this negativity, and it's just like the world is not going to be a better place if we if we just ignore it or if we just stay close <sighs> it's just yeah so I, I'm sorry if I kind of like raised your uh, temperature by making this video uh, if I sound aggressive again but it's just it's just been very very upsetting I've even like spent several uh, nights I haven't I just missed hours of sleep simply because I just been keep thinking about these things and thinking about them it's like what the heck why do I have to why do those people could be so could be living so much simpler lives and ju just be thankful of these little things but they they choose to be to give so much attention to what other people say negatively about them and I'm not talking about negativity as in like criticism that helps them be better people I'm talking about negative bullshit and absolutely yeah absolutely pff, shit that doesn't help anyone doesn't help the society doesn't help you as an individual it doesn't help anyone at all to spread that shit around like yeah I'm going to stop here and I'm going to make, oh, the brightness has just gone crazy. And I'm going to make another video because <laughs> this is like, <laughs> it's, it's, kind of mo it's moved on to something else simply because, oh, I just started talking about it. I can't help it. I'm just so frustrated about it. <sighs> so, yeah, I, I don't know if you regret watching this video or even tuning in. But I hope you don't. Um, I, I please leave in the comments how you feel about it. And uh, I appreciate if you um, click that bell, that thing, if you want to be subscribed by, uh, and find out by other, video of other videos I'm posting. If not, that's OK. It's your life. You, can, you choose to do whatever you want to do with it. I'm honestly not like it doesn't even like everyone can do whatever they want as long as you're not negatively affecting someone else and you're being harmful towards them so please take care of yourself and yeah please think about these things and yeah have a lovely afternoon take care